Hey, this is Killian McGrath with the Unhashed YouTube channel. In today's cryptocurrency tutorial, I'm going to be explaining a couple of terms. I'm going to explain what does market cap mean in cryptocurrency, what does circulating supply mean in cryptocurrency, and how do these factor into the price of cryptocurrencies. The first term, market capitalization, or market cap for short, is an important metric in cryptocurrencies. We use it to rank coins by the amount invested in them and determine which coins have the most universal support. For example, Bitcoin has the largest market cap, so it is therefore referred to as the world's largest cryptocurrency. Ethereum and Ripple XRP follow Bitcoin in rankings based off of their market caps. To find an individual cryptocurrency's market cap, you simply need to multiply the coin's current circulating supply by its price. Now you may be asking, what is a circulating supply? Circulating supply is the current number of coins that have been mined, excluding any coins that may be locked up in any way. In other words, circulating supply is the total number of coins in existence that are technically accessible. Using Bitcoin as an example, Bitcoin has a circulating supply of roughly 17.28 million and is currently trading at a price of $6,417. If you multiply these together, you will get Bitcoin's market cap. Keep in mind that in Unhash we round market cap and circulating supply metrics for aesthetics so the calculations may be slightly off. You should get a number of roughly $110 billion. Another example is Ethereum, which has a circulating supply of 102 million coins and is trading at $208. Multiplying these together gives you its market cap of roughly $21.26 billion. Lastly. Ripple has a circulating supply of $39 billion and is trading at a price of $0.32. Cents. Its market cap calculation comes out to roughly $12.92 billion. Aside from just knowing the calculation and definition of market cap, it's important to understand why this metric is so important when comparing cryptocurrencies. Due to varying circulating supplies among cryptocurrencies, price can misrepresent the difference in investment and interest between different coins. For example, Bitcoin's price is 30 times greater than Ethereum's, but Bitcoin's market cap is only 5 times greater. A more extreme example is Bitcoin and Ripple XRP. Bitcoin's price is 19,000 times greater than XRP's, while its market cap is just 8.5 times greater than XRP's. Perhaps an easier way to understand this is to imagine all three of these cryptocurrencies had the same market cap. In this scenario, Bitcoin's price would be more than 2,300 times larger than Ripple XRP's, but that would not be a great indicator of investment interest or investments made into the coin. The takeaway here should be that market cap is a better indication of a cryptocurrency's size and popularity than price. A larger price by itself does not mean that a coin has had more money put into it, and a smaller price does not really make a coin quote unquote cheap. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like it and let us know any questions you have about cryptocurrencies in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for the latest cryptocurrency tutorials and news. Also be sure to check out unhash.com for the latest cryptocurrency news, guides, and prices.